We're going to go with a player from Crestview that just really did a lot of the intangibles tonight besides scoring the basketball a little bit as well. Yeah, and that's number three, Kellen Putman. Had the responsibility all night of guarding Brooks Lockoff, you know, and what a job he did. You know, Brooks still had 25 points, but as you said, did the, all the little things tonight to be successful, made it difficult on Brooks Lockoff, you know, rebounded and hit, down, hit two big free throws there in that second overtime to extend the lead, you know, and he continues to be our Stolly Hustle Award winner. Jer Harding with the basketball, kicks it out, inside out action to Kellen Putman, and just like out shooting in the driveway, inside out. It's him four on the game, Jer Harding kicks it back out to Putman again. Same song, second verse as Kellen Putman drills another three, give the assist to uh, Jared Harding. Braxton Leith is going to get the rebound on the backside, splits the double, gets it to Red Sheets. He passes to Kellen Putman. Excellent passing by the Knights. Putman with the bucket. Kellen Putman, the leading free throw shooter for the Knights at 83%. He's had some big ones this year to force an earlier game in the season to overtime against Miller City. Steps to the line right there and drains it. So the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line, it's come into play down the stretch. The Knights have scored all of their points in this overtime from the charity stripe. Putman with the second one. It rolls around on the medal. 